Today I'll be going over setting up PID, PID scaling, and a set point for a thousand series drives excluding the IQ pump. The first parameter that you need to set to use PID is B501. B501 enables or disables PID mode on the drive. To enable PID mode, B501 needs to be set to a 1. The next parameter that needs to be set is Bravo 518. This is to allow you to choose your own set point through a hard set in parameters. The next parameter to set would be B520. B520, you can change the scaling for the set point. This way we can change the scaling on the set point to match the transducer's range. A B520 equal to a 3 will say user units, which we will then change to equal the transducer's range. The next parameter would be B538. This is the first parameter that we will set for the transducer range. Assuming we have a transducer that has a range of 0 to 100 PSI, we can set B538 to 10,000 and B539, which is the amount of decimal places that we are going to be using in the B538 parameter set. If we set that to a 2, 10,000 with two decimal places is 100.00. So now our range is set up for a 0 to 100 PSI range transducer. The next parameter to set will be B519. This will be the actual set point that you want the drive to reach. As of now this reads 30.00 WC for water column. This is for the default. If we want to change what PID scaling is set in, we would go to parameter B546. B546 we can choose between water column, PSI, gallons per minute, degrees Fahrenheit, etc. Most often it's used for PSI. The next parameter we'll want to set is our PI output level selection either to be direct acting or reverse acting. This parameter is B509. Direct acting would be filling a tank. Reverse acting would be removing water or whatever from a tank. The last parameter that we'll have to check will be our analog input setting. Assuming we're using analog input 2 on the drive, that parameter will be H3-10. H3-10 is the function for our terminal A2. Normally it's set at frequency bias. We would change it to a B for a PID feedback input. Now our A2 input is selected as PID feedback and by default the A2 input is set for 4 to 20 milliamp signal. These settings will get the drive to operate in PID mode without any advanced PI features. Other parameters are available to enhance functionality and performance.